Right, so next we're going to cut out. What I'm going to actually use, I'm going to actually use a Stanley knife. The reason why I'm going to use a Stanley knife for this is because Stanley knives are relatively cheap and pretty much everyone else has got one, so I'm going to try and do it with tools that everyone actually try, has actually got. Uh, normally I'll be using like my Swan Morton blades, but I just want to basically do it in tools so everybody can actually do this and don't think that you have to have specialist tools or really fancy tools to do things because you don't and um, that's the whole point of me actually trying to do this little series um, is the fact that everyone can do it so what I'm doing now is I'm going through the actual foam um, because it's a layer of card a layer of foam and then a layer of card I'm going through it in multiple passes not just one pass and um, because you can actually damage the actual foam and it all sort of bobbles up together and it doesn't look clean at all and um, when you've actually done it so I'll just go through one one light pass to start with then a second pass and not nine times out of ten that's enough and as you can see here I've got a very nice clean cut and um, ignore that bit I need to go off because of did it in two sections because the ruler wasn't long enough I need to go back and just trim that back so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll cut these out and then we'll be right back right so once you're done you're actually going to be left with your four squares all exactly the same size and you're going to be left with an off cut now don't throw this off cut away we're going to need this later and um, we're going to be using this for a floor so we'll put that to one side for now and we'll come back to that later on and I'm going to try and get you a little bit more coverage of the actual bench here and a little bit of a zoom out and um, this is as far as the zoom will go so um, is there another way that I can do this yep this should be and um, what we'll do is we'll whoop, there we go so we'll zoom out a little bit so you can see and right so what we're going to do now is we're going to get this and we're going to actually draw down the side and we're going to actually take out a slight section of this for the join. We only need to do this on two actual sides, um, not sides, two pieces sorry, we need to do this on two pieces so it all fits nice and neat together. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. I've done this in multiple videos before and um, for those of you that haven't seen those videos I'm just going to do like a quick brief uh, version of it now so I'm going to try and zoom in as best as I can so here we go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of the other pieces with a straight edge and um, as you can see let's move that bit out of the way and um, as you can see with the thickness of the foam core what I'm going to do is put them together and I'm basically going to bind them up dead straight then I'm going to draw down that crease so um, let me see probably be better if I zoom out slightly so you can see it. So I'm going to put this down here I'm going to draw a line all the way down and all the way down that side then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do exactly the same again. Right and then we'll be left with two two lines if we can focus we'll be left with two lines all the way down the board on either side. How easy is that? So we're going to do exactly the same again. We're going to do exactly the same again and we're going to draw another two lines down the sides. So here we go again. Down the sides. Sorry about the noise in the background, the wee man's actually going mental. Um, <coughs> he's, he's currently watching this program so he's enjoying it um, I'm going to be back until he calms down okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down the side I'm going to be using one of my hobby knives for this the reason why uh, these are the, the cheap disposable ones and I'm just going to pierce through the first skin of the card I'm not going through all the way through the foam so nice and gentle nice and gentle all the way down um, nice shot, nice shot, nice help here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just freehand this, lightly guide the knife through the foam. 
try not to make an impression on the other side because if you make an impression on the other side um, it could actually split so as you can see just there if I bend it you can see I've made an incision all the way through the card and the foam but I've not pierced the back now I'm going to do that again on this side so that's one pass two passes now I'm through the card then with my third pass freehand very lightly no pressure just like the knife the weight of the knife do its thing and I'm going to do two small passes right the way through so again there's no marks there's no marks on the back and I've made an incision all the way through because we need this piece of card at the end so I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and I'll be back then right so now that's done what we're actually going to do is we're going to actually trim off this back foam and how I do this this is not the safest method right because you're going to be cutting close to your finger so if you're doing this please get an, a responsible adult to help you out and actually just trim off this back piece it's not overly difficult but a, a small slip and you can actually you probably actually give yourself a little nick but we're not going to be putting no pressure on the blade we're going to let the weight of the knife do the work for us so what we're going to do is just line it up with the edge of the the edge of the card and we're going to let the weight of the knife sink through the foam and we're just going to score down it once and then we're going to do that again and then we're going to do one final pass and then that will come off and now we're left with this and that is so we get see this foam here when we actually join these together put that down there when we put that down there it will actually create a nice seam and it will cover that it will cover that down the side okay so I'm going to go ahead and copy that onto the rest <laughs> 